Here's the weekend update for May 7, 2011. I'm going to be looking at the longer term charts of the S&P, NASDAQ, and Dow, and maybe the, the HUI and uh, SLV and USO. Anyway, for NASDAQ, um, this might be, this actually might be five waves up. It's going to be wave one, wave two, wave three. This question is going to be a four. We might have entered a five up into a corrective wave. And uh, worst case scenario is that we drop to 0.618 around 2700 and maybe form a triangle, ABC, ABCDE triangle here in NASDAQ. Uh, we need to hold a 2800 short term next uh, week. If we can't hold that, then I can probably see a test of 2700 to the downside. And at worst, uh, maybe a ABC flat back down to 2600 at worst. So if this is five waves up, we could end up entering a wave two. And um, uh, the recent drop, well, if we can hold 2800, NASDAQ would be fine. And then rally, if you rally back over 2870, that'll set up a number three. But uh, it's starting to look and feel like a fifth wave up for S&P. It doesn't look all that bad, but I mean, at worst worst case scenario, this is wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. S&P doesn't look all that bad right now, but um, uh, if we if we form at least a, I mean, the worst case scenario that there's a flat that's formed, that's that's formed that drops down as low as twelve fifty to test it, maybe A B C in the flat. But if we can hold a uh, thirteen hundred to the downside or a uh, thirteen thirty approximately, well, next week we can either hold thirteen thirty to the downside for thirteen twenty eight. And um, I think that's yeah. I think that's thirteen. Yeah, thirteen twenty-eight. If we can hold that and then rally back over thirteen seventy, that'll set up number three. But um, I'm I'm have a suspicion that this is five waves up. So action next week could be very important for the Dow. This could be wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. But Dow doesn't look all that bad right now. Uh, the retracement recently could just be a uh, um, wave one, a wave two of wave three, or um, but um, the worst case scenario that is a f uh, fifth wave up. I mean, dropped as low as uh, eleven thousand six hundred to the downside. That is the absolute worst case scenario. But I, I don't see that happening right now. But if it gets worse next week, then we have to look at uh, twelve thousand one hundred and eleven thousand six hundred to the downside. Anyway, the USO. It's still on a downward three and uh it's pretty wicked downward three. And you can't even draw retracement patterns, but um going back to um June where uh, the low of June the last year, I can I, I could see this go back down to the previous uh four back to thirty one thirty two. I could I could actually see that happening. Because um It's got an ABC up, and it draw in the USO formed an ABC up, which could retrace back to the start of uh, the beginning of the rally. And um, we got to see if it gets an upper two next week. If it gets an upper two, then we can figure out what the next direction of where it can head. Be wave one, then wave two, then either wave three, or a break back over the higher highs. So I think the first sign, if this, if we don't want to know exactly what's going to happen with the, with the USO. With the oil ETF, we have to see the first wave too. For the SLV, now this is bad. Um, I could actually see silver the SLV going back to as low as twenty six, back to the previous four. Because then when you get a you get a bubble fifth wave, it usually traces back to the four, and the four was twenty six, and um, it's like a three, four, five bubble bubble fifth wave. But if you can get an upward retracement, I can, basically the first retracement could um, be the first sign of where, how far the thing could drop. If it's like wave one, then wave two, then wave three, then I can definitely tell what's going to happen. And finally, hold on a second. Uh, the HUI. I can see the HUI retracing back to as low as uh, 490. But funny thing is gold hasn't been hit as hard as SLV and... Uh, USO and I think it could be next so I just look out for gold I would not touch gold right now or any of the commodities because it's like they like SLV big bubble bubble fifth wave back to the floor probably to 26 I know that sounds really bad but it it's it's a pretty bad chart
So, um, again, because bubble fifth waves usually trace back to the previous four. Previous four is 26. That's a wrap.